AWS is helping us grow globally, which we've done partly by acquisition, partly by organic growth, by having infrastructure and compute resources and geographies where we don't have captive infrastructure. I'm James LaPlane, CIO at AOL. AOL really has three areas of primary business. We have an advertising ecosystem in the advertising, digital advertising area. We have a membership business, which is the history of AOL, subscription-based businesses. And then we have a web portfolio, things like MapQuest.com, Huffington Post, TechCrunch, and Engadget. Back in early 2000s, we began planning to have a private cloud, really concentrating on virtualization, uh, trying to get efficiency out of the infrastructure we were running. That moved to a pretty large private cloud instance. We got up to about 30,000 or 35,000 nodes internally, but the reality was we couldn't create parity with what was happening in the public cloud space. In January of 2014, we began our journey with AWS moving out of facilities, one here on the AWL campus in Virginia. Uh, that took us a full year to exit the first two data centers. We moved about 26,000 production assets without disrupting the business and saved millions of dollars on power and cooling and ultimately sold those facilities as another way to generate cash flow to help offset the investment costs that we had to do to refactor some of our applications for cloud. So an example of a hybrid solution for us is in our advertising business. Every day we serve tens of billions of bid requests for our real-time bidding system that's hosted in AWS, where the back-end data and algorithm work is actually taking place within AOL's data centers on-premises. The advantages of the cloud are agility, speed, the ability to manage our cost in a unique and different way, and ultimately taking advantage of new building blocks and portfolios in our services to build better products. As part of managing our cost to, in the public cloud, we're also leveraging reserved instances, both one and three year terms, uh, which allow us to have a more predictable uh, cost structure. If you partner that with the use of spot instances and EMR for us, as well as the on-demand compute, we're using the full portfolio of options that AWS provides us. And we still feel that AWS is the, the 800 pound gorilla in that space and offers not just infrastructure services, but these additional things, these serverless architectures like Lambda, um, that we really think are gonna be interesting building blocks for us to advance the products and services we create.